Man, I just don't know what to do with videos on anymore. I mean, guns are just, they're just all the same. I mean, they're just so, there's no cool guns out there. Like, I'm looking for something like, you know, really different, you know, like, I, I don't know. It's, it's just the same guns out there. They all look the same. They pretty much function the same way. Uh, they're just boring now. Don't you think so, too? Yeah, totally. Thanks. Uh, yeah, it's just... I don't know. I, I, I'm looking for... Oh, I know. Hey, Siri! How can I help you? Uh, I need a futuristic gun. How about the M16? No. That's not futuristic. Maybe in like the 80s. Uh, but everything else is plastic now. Something something newer. Steyer AUG. No, again, that's, that's cool. Like, 40 years ago. But, um... So, something something newer, come on. I, I need something like more features, something that just screams sci-fi. How about the IWI Tavor? No. Uh, everybody has one. What about the FN Scar? No, that's just too expensive. And everybody also has one. Keltec RFB. Okay, I want something you can actually get. Okay, I know what you need. Whoa! Thanks, Siri! Oh, hi! Didn't see you there. Well, I've got something really special today. Now, if you remember a while back, I did a video on a Bushmaster arm pistol. Now, there was a lot of downside to that pistol, and um, so I decided to make my own spin on it. And as you can see, oh, let's put the safety on first. As you can see, I modified it. It looks nothing like the original Bushmaster pistol. And that's because, well, as you can see, there is a P90 stock on it. Yep, I took a PS90 stock, cut it, um, added it on, and you know, it's... Because the AR pistol holding it, it's just... The AR pistol grip holding it, it's not very comfortable, especially with something this back heavy, it's hard to hold, but P90 grip, amazing. It's so easy to hold it one-handed. Look at this. And then, and here's the thing, I cut off, I filled in the front, and so now this is more like an angled foregrip, so it's not a foregrip, because remember, this is still a pistol. And it's not a short barrel rifle. And it looked like I was shouldering, but I'm actually not shouldering. And the other thing is I can't even shoulder it, because if I shoulder it, brass is going to hit right my face. So I don't shoulder it. But, yeah, I mean, it's way better now. And there's no way to sight it, so I figured, you know what, the only real reason to sight this is put a laser on top. Because lasers are cool. Woo! Anyways, um, I mean... This is inspired directly by Ghost in the Shell. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I love, I love Ghost in the Shell, and the other Jeremy does, right? <laughs> yeah, everybody loves Ghost in the Shell. And uh, Ghost in the Shell, one of their main rifles, the C26 Zebra or the uh, CZN22, I think that's what it's called. Um, if not, then anyways, I'll put pictures up. Yeah, and then uh, so this is kind of a uh, hybrid of the two. And as you can see, it's really futuristic, and I fucking love it. And uh, again, it's a pistol, so it's meant to fire one-handed, you know, or off the hand, or brace it against the arm. That's why it's called an arm pistol. And this is extremely easy to kind of like sweep around and just shoot like this. See? You know, at this close range, laser is perfect. I'm able to hit most of the center target. It's super easy. I, I fucking love it. And... I don't know why more gun companies don't make cool guns like this. I think there should be a market. I don't know. I don't know what you think, but I think there should be a market for this. And I'm going to put a few more rounds down. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, ammo issues. I know. it's Everybody has that issue. But now we got more. All right, sorry, we're back. Um, ammo issues. I know, everybody has that issue, but we got more ammo now. So turn on the laser and safety. Yeah, uh, another reason why I like this gun, you know, it's so easy and maneuverable is 
You get to shoot from cover. Got him. Easy. See? You know, I can't. I don't even take. I don't take any. I don't take any uh, fire. I can sit safely behind cover, look through the hole, and just easy mode. See? Boom. See that? Right in the head. Headshot right there. Can't do that of any other gun. I, you probably can, but you know, obviously, I want to make this gun look way cooler than it is. And then uh, the only problem with this gun is reloading is kind of a bitch. So, yeah. I mean, this is my. Uh, kind of arm pistol creation. It's not really done yet. There's still a lot of things I need to work on because let's face it, it's, it is Bushmaster. It is like 30 years old. It is kind of crappy. There's still a lot of things I got to work on, but overall it's not bad. I mean, granted this is kind of like really close range, but it, this does have a 10 inch barrel and you know, it's like two, two, three, it's 10 inches. You know, it's still going to outperform any pistol caliber. You know, sub, sub gun. Doesn't matter what you say. You know, even a magnum. This is way more power. You know, and this is a pistol too. So you can have it load in a car. You know, just pull it up and easily defend yourself. And I think this is like. Oh, and by the way, and uh, I've already forgot where I left out. Anyways, um, there's also you know a flashlight built into the bottom. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of a crappy light. You can you know still kind of see it like right there. It, it works for what it is. Anyways, it's a. To get a home defense platform, I think at least you know, just like pull it up, put it easily, turn the laser on. I'll eventually I'll get a pressure switch so it's easier to you know like activate both of them. But for now, I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, this is kind of my turn off the light. This is kind of my Seabrew C26 Ghost in the Shell inspired um, creation. And thanks for watching. If you like uh, the video, please like and subscribe. We also have a Facebook and. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, stay tuned, I guess. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Wait, and go. Go sideways like this? Yeah. Gangster style? Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> I'll just reload. Mag reload! Sure. Say hello to my little friend! Oh wait, Ramu, I'm sorry, Ramu. No, 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 don't disregard that, okay? Pretty badass, I gotta say. Sign me up for one. The one that works. <laughs>